Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day. Alhamdulillah. Good morning from Bali, Indonesia. It's day two. Uh, the plan for today is the owner of the inn in here um, suggested to uh, take me to a, a nearby waterfall. Uh, her daughter's uh, boyfriend is actually a subscriber to the channel. Uh, so she wanted to uh, show me a little bit of uh, the city. Uh, things that maybe tourists are not really uh, aware of. So there's some hidden gems and some, some beautiful waterfall. Uh, we're going to go there today, inshallah, check it out. Uh, so uh, stay with us. I'm still at the end, just getting ready, changing. And then maybe we'll go have uh, breakfast. And then basically the idea for today is to head out to the waterfall. Let's head go. Hello family, it's breakfast time and today's breakfast is Indomie Mi Goreng Breakfast of Champion, check out this beautiful scenery There's I think a lime tree behind me and all greenery all around It's beautiful, you can hear the birds tripping, the roosters calling There you go, and uh, fresh breeze it's really really nice we ordered also some coffee so the coffee is uh, should be coming and uh, we're gonna have to make it rain because I'm really really hungry spicy let's try it and give you guys a review I like indomie because I even have it there too and as this one has actually nice fried uh, onion flavor I used to hang out with a lot of Filipino friends back in the day, so I'm used to using fork and spoon at the same time. Got the cappuccino, bismillah. Oh my god, I don't know what they use. If it's instant coffee or whatever it is, I gotta take some with me because this is so quick. This is better than some of the cappuccinos I've had. In Canada, like Starbucks or Tim Hortons or anywhere else, and they're just a small little shop, so I gotta find out what's the secret. Show you guys, I'm gonna finish my food. The food is delicious. Can you see it? Here is the cappuccino, it's really creamy. And then you get that hint of coffee and then the sweetness. Oh, love it. All right, guys, let me make me finish my coffee in peace. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello family, alhamdulillah, we made it. As you guys saw, we were on the road um, and we actually came to the cleanest city in the world. Uh, we're just uh, parking here and then we have to get tickets to go inside. So we're just gonna start heading in. Let's go. They hear the it's a large population of Hindus. I was confusing it with Buddhists, and that's where my confusion was. I was keep thinking they're Buddhist, but then yesterday it kind of hit me that. Hinduism and Buddhism is totally different so they're like similar to like India like um, you know um, Rama and, and whatnot like the gods that they believe in whereas uh, Buddhism is just Buddha so check this out so they don't allow no motorcycles or bikes or, or cars in this village it, like the homes are just on the other side um, and these are the people's homes basically like their homes 
and uh, and uh, yeah it's like super beautiful I'm gonna try to find a, a place where I can maybe fly the uh, drone from and uh, yeah like you're just gonna walk around a little bit the Sun is warm it's cooking I already feel like I'm getting a sunburn my, my skin is my skin is just uh, burning itchy I'm getting dark that's for sure this is the weather that I thrive in this is the weather that I love my battery is running out which is not good so I need to figure out somehow to charge my camera and I need to fly the drone from somewhere whoa that's pretty cool wow check it out guys so like I said it's just lots of um, Buddhist like statues and the culture it's pretty cool they have lots of greenery that's what I like about it that uh, they have a lot of green stuff like lots and lots of trees lots of flowers it's a it's amazing like you come in here it's like so so calming and relaxing like each area like you can see lots of plants lots of flowers and you can and what these plants help is like uh, with fresh air as soon as you stand like in the shade it's such a cool breeze and then the Sun just cooks you which is <laughs> such a opposite feeling that you get from from the shade you're gonna go down da, da, da. check it out people come here stand here to get pictures because it has a nice uh, background like you can see down because that side is a that side is a hill behind me is the hill so people stand here to take picture down or for example like this gentleman here he's just standing by one of the doors they also have like stores you can get goodies hey here check the subject we're just brothers taking a picture right there and all the style of it is like Buddhist style it is a Buddhist village but it's just clean like you know if you see like the drains there's like little stores that they sell food drinks uh, souvenirs they have a lot of uh, like noodle instant noodle um, even like in the train station uh, what was uh, crazy was the Cathay Pacific in, in the airplane they had uh, noodle cups and they were actually saying what I found it pretty cool was that they gave us a menu and they said anytime if you want anything just call us like you can order fruit anytime and also you could uh, have a uh, noodle cup anytime so like if you're hungry you want a snack you just ding them and say hey I want a noodle cup uh, but suppose the food was pretty good so I actually ended up finishing it and um, was it, I didn't feel too hungry to order more and because I was like so tired I didn't really record too much for you guys but he has a small little instrument and he's playing with that so here let's let's show you guys each each of each little hut is kind of basically like a store look at that it's so clean even the drainage like they keep it so clean this is I think maybe some kind of like an offering because like I said they're Hindu and they have coconut durian I want to get some durian to try it out so I haven't tried it yet but like I said this is the cleanest village they say in the world or one of the cleanest or probably the cleanest in the world so you can see they have they've maintained like their the grass the flowers and um, you don't see any dirt like you know you don't see for example garbage and waste uh, and stuff on, on the ground so they take uh, 
they take pride in that and then they have like instant burning so it gives you like a good uh, smell when you're walking and they actually have like an instant um, outside each house that they have that they're uh, burning it's a lot of people uh, here with their family taking pictures it's also because it's their uh, uh, long weekend Friday Thursday Thursday they had I think a holiday because of the um, the, 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 the election they're also selling um, instruments They have this is I think the entrance to the village so they got like some statues this one it's a big statue and there's some stalls like selling drinks and juice and stuff food so tourists or people that are here can take a break and here's another statue this one's like a lion and this one looks like a pig uh, with big ears more stalls for food and lots of true tourists like me but the, the thing that was uh, pretty funny or interesting was that they charge foreigners a higher ticket than they do the locals so they say foreigners have to pay 50k locals 25 here's another another statue I think here maybe, maybe I'm gonna set up uh, camp I'm gonna dry fly the, the, the drone so let's get you guys some shots Alhamdulillah, just finished. Only bad part is I, I lost the wide angle lens because the damn thing is magnetic. So it sticks to the front of the camera. And as we were getting up, I dropped it somewhere. But it's okay, let's head out. This is the restaurant, Mashallah. Look at this. How huge it is. I don't know where we are. Wow. It's a restaurant, like, like a city. It's huge inside. And uh, we're still walking to, to our seat. Goodness. out guys so this is the entrance and this is what I was talking about they have little sinks here at the entrance as well as all inside like every little corner 
and I think it can even sit here too. So beforehand, after, during, at any time you want to go wash your hands, you can do so. This is the parking area and I'll show you guys the name. So you can see this is the name of the restaurant. Daku Palace Bebek Tepse Sava Su Marta Gallery Paliatan Ubud Bali. So if you are in the area, check them out. Beautiful restaurant, uh, awesome staff, really great customer service and delicious food. I'm done from here, off to the next one. Let's go. Under the eight, we could make it to the um, pool or the waterfall. And we came to this market, I think called like Krishna. Balu Balu or something. It's a huge, huge market, two floors, tons of goods, lots of clothing and then food items. Oh, my sticker fell because they gave me this sticker. I have to make sure I put it on me so I don't get kicked out. And now I'm trying to look for some souvenirs, so let's go and find some stuff together. just on our way back to the hotel and we were in the owner's car and uh, she hit a pothole and busted her tire so I tried to uh, see if I could uh, you know get the tire out but it's a it's a Dyson or Dayton or Dayton the car type and it's weird the tire is like underneath and you have to like somehow open up like a cover under the car to be able to take the tire out so I couldn't help and uh, they called the technician and then basically I got a ride uh, back by go grab to the hotel room so just got in um, basically just only took my shoes off wanted to come and uh, I'll give you guys a quick update to wrap up this video I'm gonna go in, uh, take a quick shower, change, refresh, and then start working on the video to upload it. Uh, the last video, the brothers were helping out actually to edit it, but uh, because I compressed the video, the quality hasn't, it wasn't so great, so I have to re-upload it for them to be able to edit it. So my apologies, guys. Please stay tuned, videos are coming. Inshallah, I'm slowly working on those. Not slowly, but I'm actually working really hard to get them out to you guys. Um, so they'll be out uh, as soon as we can get them out and edited and ready for you guys. In the meantime, please don't forget to check out the uh, shorts. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Show some love, guys. I know you guys are amazing. Um, and you're not going to let me down. But I'm really, 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 really working and looking towards, inshallah, hitting that 500k and a million subscriber. I need to be starting making money off of this channel, guys. So let's do this. Uh, the crumbs of $10, $20, $30 a month is not doing enough. These trips are costing me thousands and thousands of dollars. So let's do this. Let's, let's make the channel grow. Let's make some money so I can come more often and come with family and stay for longer and uh, bring you guys more cool videos from Indonesia. So uh, I said a lot, I'm gonna wrap it up, I'm tired, and probably you guys are too. 
Um, so yeah, take care of yourself and family, guys. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and wassalam.